sample one, sample two, blah, blah, blah. And you know, they're all in sort of a vector or an array. And we got our rule. And our input is a ref genome. So we've uh, specified ref genome. Is the, we've provided what the ref genome is. And our first queues, yeah, equals or assigned, not equals, assigned to uh, the output of this expand uh, this uh, statement, right? And a sample uh, is assigned uh, to uh, samples, right? And uh, output, sort of similar to what we've seen before, and this is the shell command that we want to run, okay? So what is happening is that this expand command here uh, is allowing you to sort of have a, a to-do list as a rule. Okay? So you can very quickly see how that becomes really powerful. Right? Because almost always, you know, you've got a set of data, uh, the sample names, and you may be struggling with sample names or so on and so forth. Okay? So we can generalize uh, that, uh, uh, that, 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 that process. Okay? And the good thing with SnakeMake is that it understands Python. So you can um, um, sort of uh, uh, decorate it with all your, uh, you know, lots of uh, 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 Python uh, uh, input. So I really find this to be really nice where, you know, you're abstracting your, 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 your sequences, your, your first queues, um, uh, you know, by expanding that path, uh, by providing this assignment, and uh, then executing. And SnakeMake, in the background, we generate the necessary code uh, to... Uh, you know, name your things uh, the right way. Okay? So here we got uh, another snake make uh, workflow uh, in two steps. So that was, you know, sort of one step. Okay? Uh, in this case here, we are running uh, BB Duck. Yeah? Part of the, I think, uh, BB uh, tools. A really nice uh, set of uh, uh, efficient um, tools for our NGS work. I hope we are familiar with them. We should. Yeah. And uh, in this case here, uh, we, uh, we, we, we're running this particular command, uh, BB duck, or duke, whatever. And uh, we specify our input, R1, you know, our root directory to where our first queue, uh, whatever sample name is, uh, underscore one. And our read2, R2, is the sample name 2. Because almost always the Illumina will output for you your samples as, you know, uh, the read one with the underscore one and this other underscore two, okay? And our output will be these two reads, 